What's up, my Pugnios? Andy with Andy Vlogs, uh, sharing with you guys day two of painting. The second day in the morning, we moved on Saturday morning, and we got everything done. You can see the other video uh, up above or, or down below in my list of uh, playlist of videos. But we got the master bedroom and girlie's room all done. Then we moved all of our crap. And now what we're going to do is we're going to paint downstairs. So we're going to include Nick's room. We're going to do the bathroom. And then we're going to do my studio, which I'm excited about. and we're ready to get cracking on this uh, ugly lime green wall. Maybe it's not quite lime green, but we're gonna paint it white, make it look beautiful, and I'm gonna use my 18 inch roller. Can't wait, come join me. All right, the next room that I painted was Nicholas's room. This was a beast. Oh man, this project was intense. So the downstairs, we decided to paint completely white, except the hall. The hall we didn't paint white because I didn't want to have to do all the touch up and it looks fine because the walls in the main areas of the room all come down stairs. But with that, it would be such a pain to go all the way around the house and I don't like the hard cutoffs, you know, maybe at the, at the stairs or whatnot. So I decided to just pick the Nicholas's bedroom, my office studio, and then the bathroom because the bathroom in Nicholas's room had this two-tone where it was like this lime green. So I got rid of all of it and we got at it. The green was so intense that I, ha I had to lay on so much paint. Now that I think about it, I'm going to contradict myself, but having that half inch nap downstairs was probably the best because I was able to push tons and tons of paint onto that wall because after, even after two full coats, there was some green that bled through. So I had to do in some areas, three coats even. I have just finished and I think it looks good you guys have seen the whole process but gray turned to white green turned to white and I also resurfaced Nicholas's desk and uh, these shelves and I think it turned out all right not too bad um, but I think all in all I'm pretty pleased with how it it uh, turned out let's go see how heavy is I think it went great you have some paint right here so you think that you can tell me at 1.35 in the morning that I have paint? No, you paint. need to do this. I hope you guys like that tandem shot where Evie and I were both painting at the same time. It's kind of fun. I like doing silly stuff like that. Let's see what it looks like. Looks good. I feel like maybe when the furniture's in here, I feel like I would feel better about this 
light pink with white combo. Moving on to the bathroom. The bathroom was a, a little bit more tricky as you had to go around the tram. I had to go around all the fixtures and the little crevice area behind the vanity. But I was able to get it, most of it. Basically, if you step into that room, it's now pure white, which is great. But there is some of that green, that gross lime green underneath the toilet that I couldn't reach. But for the most part, you can see that it looks good. I also decided to paint that one little edge of the tile white and I think it blends in nice. As you can see the second and third coat of paint that green is starting to disappear and in the end it's gone. All right, that's another room done. I'm seriously not gonna do this again. I've done three coats on this wall, two and a half on this. Some of the areas I haven't done three coats. My paint is super tacky and it won't go on right and I just need to be done with it. And I think when it dries, it'll settle and hopefully cover all the spots, but there's so much green all around in this room. It is ugly. Who would in their right mind paint a bathroom lime green? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, we're gonna move on to my studio and that should be the last thing, except the mid room. Let's move on. We're moving right along. So much to do here, so much to get through. The last room that I ended up painting was my office. My office wasn't too bad, it had that gray color, but I really want to be able to have a nice clean gradient. I went all the way into the closet. I did all the way behind the door. I didn't do the doors because they're the same color, but this took two coats, as you could see the gray after the first coat did bleed through because it was pretty, pretty laid on there thick. I didn't do any of the trim around the window, I thought it was fine, but I did do the baseboards and I did the trim around the door and the closet. Mud time has passed. It's like past three in the morning again. Third night in a row where I'm working past three in the morning painting. And uh, we finished. We finished my studio. Very white. It's no more gray. Once this dries up, I'll be able to unpack and start moving junk. This is probably the hardest part. You can see that it's a little bit gray. I don't think I'm gonna do any more painting for a while. Thanks so much for joining me. Andy with Any Vlog, signing out.